Welcome to the AI Preview Show with me, Davey B and Dog Gesser. We're going to be previewing today's card at Doncaster, which is live on SIS. We're going to start off with the current informed trainers. William Finlay, 11 runners, 4 winners, 36.36%. Paul Pryor, 21 runners, 6 winners, 28.57%. And Sean Parker, 56 runners, 14 winners, 25%. Current out of form trainers, Patrick Smith, 14 runners, no winners. Malcolm Windrass, 18 runners, 1 winner. And Debbie Calvert, 32 runners, 3 winners. That's based on minimum of 10 runners in the last 14 days, and unfortunately it doesn't include today's meeting. Dog Guesser, have you got all the winners picked out for the meeting? Um, I think it's a tough card, to be honest. Um, there's not many that I'm massively fond of, uh, but it's a good competitive card, card you know, there's, it's a, it's a well-graded card. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully it goes as well as today did, and uh, we can find some winners for the boys. Yep, we'll soon find out. So, um, let's get into the action. Race one is a A3 over 483 meters. Craig Brian Storm in one, Sligo Ed in two, Kilava Lark in three, On the Way in four, Ponfiana in five, and in six, Kilava Bugle. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I'm going to be with on the way. Um, the one and the two have not really got any pace to the corner. I actually think the one might hold the two to the bend. The two can run a bit, to be fair, but it's not going to turn uh, turn close enough. I want to thought. Um, whatever leads out the three and four are massive players. The six is just, well, to me, it looks lame, if I'm being honest. Um, it might not be, but the dog's not, you know, he's not running, to be honest. He's he's sort of doing 30, 70s, 30, 80s. The dog used to be a 29, 50 dog. You know, even back about six months ago, he was a 30 dead, 29, 90 dog. He's not showing that sort of form at all. Um, Ponfi Hannah was really impressive last week. She walked out, paced up, went around the six. Um, showed better back straight pace and then got a bit lucky when they checked up in behind, but she did about a 30 40 and she could have left, you know, she's probably left 20 spots on the track. Um, the only problem is, though, I don't see her leading the sort of the four and the six. Whilst the six isn't fully right, he's still going to the bend like a good dog. Um, so, yeah, for me, the four and the three met last week. The four led the three. I'll take the four. I'd hope it's down in weight another half a kilo or so. But yeah, on the way for me. So Dog Guesser's selection in race one is trap four on the way. Race two is a A5 over 483 metres. Silla Tank John in one. Jamira Smile in two. Knock Last Vixen in three. Katunda Una in four. Kilara Annie in five. And in six, Northcroft Frost. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I fancy Jamira Smile. Um... <coughs> It showed some pace uh, last week going into the corner and there was two dogs inside at the corner. I can't remember what the names of them are, but they just stopped it stopped it going round. Um, it was in with Katunda Yuna the same day. Uh, Katunda Yuna got done at the corner, um, but I don't think Katunda Yuna has the pace of the uh, smile dog. The three's devoid, the one's devoid. The five's got a little bit of pace, but it won't lead the four. The six is completely devoid and it's going to cut to the rail. So I just think it's whatever gets round out of the two and the four and I think the two will get round. And if the two gets round, I think it could do a 30-60, which would be probably too good to these. Um, I've got it about 15 to eight, seven to four-ish. And I have the four next in. Um, look, the, the five can run as well and so can the three, but I can't have the three turning fifth, fourth, fifth dog like and, and coming and winning from here. So yeah, I think uh, Jamara Smile will get off the uh, off the front, and uh, I think it'll do the business tomorrow. So Dog Guesser's selection in race two is trap two. Jamara Smile. Race three is an A4 over 483 meters. Rockmount Cuba in one. Swift Lampoon in two. 
Roisin's Lily in three, Four Granted in four, Leading Out in five, and in six, Keedy Wonder. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm with Roisin's Lily. Um, the one and the two are going to be in a bit of a mess. Um, the, the two bingo break last time and showed zero pace to the corner. Rock Mount Cube is going to be coming off fence. Um, Cuba's going to lead the two as well, um, which helps. But I think the three will clear around here on the inside. Um, I think the four might lead the race and I think the three might just chase it. Now, Lily's a little bit of a thinking type of dog. She might not want to go past when she gets there, but you know she can she can run a bit. I, I have a 30, I have a thirty forty dog. I have four granted a thirty sixty dog. Leading out would be interesting as well. Um, if that can lead the fi- lead the six out wide, that would be one that you know sort of coming back to some form. Um, it used to be a thirty dead dog over the um, over the four eight three. Uh, it's not quite been in that same form like, and I think this sort of a four would be well within its capabilities. But yeah, I think Ross Lily will just lead the inside and and get a clean run at four. And if it does that, then then I think Lily will win or just refuse. <laughs> so Dog Guesser's selection in race three is trap three, Roisin's Lily. Race four is an A3 over 483 metres. Noddy's Blue Goat in one, Scarlet Gold in two, Springwood Adele in three, Bellagio Blaze in four, Jamera Rover in five, and in six, Ballymac Tulip. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I just wish we had a wait sheet for tomorrow. Um, like we obviously we won't get them anyway. Um, but if Ballymac Tulip's half a kilo lighter, then Ballymac Tulip will win. The one and the two have got no pace to the corner. The three's going to edge to the bend. Uh, sorry, going to the rail. The four isn't really the pace, just the dogs. But if it got round in an Andy Posse, which it might do, though, it could lead, you know, it could sort of turn second or third dog. Um, he'd be a player. Jamira Rover's a bit of a misbreak early pace type, but Tulip's just completely different class to these. Um, you know, she was a kilo over last time, in my opinion, off her ideal weight. I've got her about five to four, 11 to 10. Um, I think. You know, she looks a very, very hard. She looks hard to beat. Look like I say, if she'd be borderline nap material, she's not been missed on the prices early doors. But you know, she's going to lead round. She's probably going to win. There's not m- too much more I can say about her, to be honest. Uh, yeah, Bally Match Tulip. So, dog guesses selection in race four is trap six. Bally Mac Tulip. Race five is a D two over two hundred and seventy five meters. Glashidi Rock in one, Justin's Destiny in two, Greg's Wagon in three, Miguel Blue in four, Ballymac Monday in five, and in six, Barnfield Quest. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Um, I'm going to be with Justin's Destiny. Mm. I have the, the first two in the market, the two and the three. <laughs> yeah. Um obviously we own the three. Um and I think I think he's very, very smart, the the wagon dog. I like him. Yeah, I you know, he's he's a dog that I think's got really good pace, but I watched them both go to the bend with Chieftain Snow on separations and I think they've got very, very similar pace. And I trust the two more out of the cans than I do with the three. It can all that can be a little bit of a misbreak type, Carney. Yep. You know, he he's not the most consistent of litters. Um, look, the the four and the six always seem to can okay. I think they've got similar pace as well to each other, but I just think the best pace in the race is coming from the two and the three. Um, look, you know, if if all I came out on terms, like you know, he might get across, but he'd have to really come away tomorrow. Um, but I think at like five to one in the post about the two, I think that's just too big. I had it more seven to four, and I had all had five to two, and then I was nine to two the bottom and nine to two the four dog. But uh, but yeah, I'm going to be with Justin's destiny. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> so do I. So dog guesser's selection in race five is trap two. Justin's destiny. 
Race six is a B5 over 450 metres. Sandro Lilly in one. Milkrop Chief in two. Burnfoot Roxy in three. Tobagal Jet in four. Kunuf Speed in five. And in six, one for Coco. Dog guesser, what do you fancy? I'm going to be with uh, Sandro Lilly. Um, the two's not slow away, but not the pace of the one. Um, the three's going to edge in. The four's got a really good makeup. Toba got it. It's actually a dog that I own. And the six, uh, the five's going to move into sort of the six lane a little bit. The only problem with Toba Galjet is he never can. He's just a, you know, he doesn't really can. And he'd have to be off the front here as well. Um, if the one leads the inside, I think the one could turn behind him and still back run him as well. Um, the six is uh, the six has to lead. The six won't be as fast to the corner as the four, but the, like I say, the four's gonna have to come away. The four could stop the five and the six go into the corner, and the one will lead the inside and probably go around and win. Um, I'd be about seven or four ish about the the one, and then I'd be next in about the four. But yeah, Sandro Lily looks like it's got a really good makeup, but. I'm hoping that the four will run well. So Doggess's selection in race six is trap one, Sandro Lilly. Race seven is a B4 over 450 metres. Sandro Bella in one. Champagne Clearly in two. Lethem's Mario in three. Tanner's Matt in four. Indian Lad in five. And in six, Keedy Queen. Doggesser, what do you fancy? I'm going to nap uh, Keedy Queen. Look, the the one moved off massively from the, the two box last time, so they've stuck it in the one. Um, <laughs> I've no idea why. Um, the two wants the rail, the staying straight, four is cutting in. I just have the one, two, three, and the four in a mess. Now, the one might just get round and sneak round um, after Keedy Queen. Which might, and if that happens, then I think the writing might be on the wall, but there's no guarantees with the one doing that. I think the one, two, three, four could be in a mess. The six is going to lead out wide, and the six is going to do 28 50, 28 55. The going's a little bit better for her at the minute as well. So I'm going to nap her because she's about seven to two in the post, and I think that's just far too big if I'm being honest. But the one, the one will be a danger because I think it's a nice, improving bitch. So Dog Guesser's selection in race seven is trap six, Keedy Queen, and that's his nap. Race eight is a B6 over 450 metres. Dex Ferro in one, Bellagio Breeze in two, Fleetwood Daisy in three, Nola's Panda in four, Pat's Buddy in five, and in six, Crane Maggie. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I fancy Nola's Nola's panda. Yep. I lose track with these Nola's dogs. Yeah, Nola's panda. Yeah, that's the one. Um, the free dog um, Fleetwood Daisy showing absolutely zilch at the minute. Didn't pick a leg up last week. The one's not been running well. The two probably the two's probably going to lead the inside. Um, but the four was desperate not to get round last week. Um, I think it was the four dog that just paced up inside it and just stopped it from going round. It pushed off from the three box as well last week. So I think this it'd be better suited being in the four. The six got round and beat it last week. But I just think the four will lead the six. It's got more early pace. Uh, and the six doesn't only break like that either. The five for me, hasn't been running that well the last couple of starts. So, yeah, I'm going to be with the four. I think it can get round, get on the skin and do sort of 28. 90-ish, and I think that would be enough to win this type of race. So Dog Guesser's selection in race eight is trap four, Nola's Panda. Race nine is a B5 over 450 metres. Fleetwood Khan in one, Miss Amy in two, Dream on Bob in three, Burnfoot Juliet in four, Jamira Cross in five, and in six, Jamira Idol. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? I'm going to pick Fleetwood, uh, Kian. 
He's run against Miss Amy a couple of times now, and Miss Amy has shown better pace. But the thing for me is here that Miss Amy is going to move off from the two can. It's been missing the break. The one misses the break as well. The four is going to push off and hamper the five and the six. I just think they're going to get a bit of time to get to the corner, but the two might hit the three. That's my concern with the two. And the, the one has been actually looking for the rail as well. And I think he'll be better suited in the red. Um, look, I'd have, the, I'd have the two favourite in my betting, but if you ask me which dog I wanted to be on, I'd be wanting to be on Fleetwood Kean. Um, I've got him about seven to four. I think he's got the better makeup of the two dogs and I don't think there's a lot between them. Um, look, Miss Amy's going to be winning races very soon. But, you know, the five and the six are going to do each other. The four will probably hold them up and the two could hit the three. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be with Fleetwood Kean at around about five to two plus, I hope. So, Dog Guesser's selection in race nine is trap one, Fleetwood Kean. Race 10 is a B4 over 450 metres. Bumblebee Poppy in one. Ice Cold Kid in two, Titanic Tip in three, Clearway Vicky in four, Burnfoot Blakey in five, and in six, Wanted Me Teddy. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I am going to next best Titanic Tip. It was absolutely cursed not to get round the corner in front last time, and it run an almighty race in behind. Um... The two is a D4 Sunderland dog. Doesn't look like it's got much pace, if I'm being honest. There's a 219 split on the card, but from what I've from what I've seen of it at uh, Sunderland, I won't really be able to have it. The one's going to stop the two from going to the corner. I think the three, if it can just clear the two and I've attracted the one that doesn't stay, but I actually think this might even lead. And if it leads, it'll get on the skin and do 28-40, 28-50. Like I say, it run a monster race last time. The four's got zero pace. Um, the six hasn't really got much pace, and the five will probably lead out wide. But the six to one that's in the post, you know, anything sort of five to two plus, I'd be playing the free, uh, the free dog. I thought he'd run a monster race in behind. I, I mean, look, people are going to spot it. You know, I'm not saying anything that people won't see, but, you know, it's got a real chance to just clear the two and sort of follow the one. Or if it leads the one, it's absolutely curtains. So Dog Guesser's selection in race 10 is trap three, Titanic Tip. Race 11 is a B5 over 450 metres. Kilara Hagler in one, Masha's Lass in two, World Apart in three, Rising Luna in four, Burnfoot Lexi in five, and in six, Fagan Sapphire. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to be with Kalara Hagler in one. Um, look, I think the one can hold the two to the corner. Um, the three, uh, the four actually beat um, Kalara Hagler last week. But when I rewatched that, the four took an absolute bingo break. It's been pushed a little bit wider. For me, it wants to be in the three or the two box anyway. Um, so I think the, the one can actually hold the corner here. The six is going to cut down on the five. Um, the four's going to cut down on the three. The two's sort of in the right box. It's got a bit of early pace as Mash's last. The one will not necessarily have to clear the um, clear the two, but I, I do think this is. I think Kalara Hagler's going to go around the corner and do twenty eight sixty five, and I think that'll just be enough to win. You know, there's not. It's not too complex of a race to be honest. But if the four goes bingo again, then you know that'd probably be the winner. But um, the three will be staying on late, but I, I just think the way the race is made up, I, I'd want to be with the one. I think it'll lead, lead and get round and do 28-60-ish. If not, it'll follow the two. So Dog Guesser's selection in race 11 is trap one, Kilara Hagler. Race 12 is a B2 over 450 metres. Palatine Michael in one, Corin Bolt in two, Barnside Matter in three. Haven Boxer in four, Keedy King in five, and in six, Lightfoot Elise. Dog Guesser, what do you fancy? Uh, I'm going to pick Palatine uh, Michael of June McCombs. <coughs> I think it can lead the one. I think the three will lead, but the problem is with the three, if it doesn't can here, Haven Boxer is going to come right across it. 
Uh, the five and the six have both got similar pace. I just think Palatine Michael might get a run on the inside here. Um, I don't necessarily have him the favourite for the race, but I think he could be a sort of nine to two shot, five to one poke, and I think that'd be too big. And like I say, June's done wonders with this dog as well because he had a broken hock uh, back sort of probably 18 months ago now. You know, it'd be a fair old while ago. And, you know, the dog's still running B2 and he's probably four and a half years old. Um, she's done a fantastic job with him. And I think, like I say, he's going to lead the two and he might get first crack at the three. Um, but the three's not guaranteed to get a run with the four cutting down and the five and the six might do each other. So he might find himself in front at the corner here. Or if not, he might be on the heels of an on-stayer. So, yeah, I'm going to be with uh, Palatine, Michael. So, Dog Guesser's selection in race 12 is trap one, Palatine Michael. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you click that subscribe button.